y'all. It is raining, drizzling, light drizzle. I am underneath the carport my father and I built. Y'all can see that. And this is my slash welding slash my mom's old minivan. She don't want to sell it, so this is where it's at, y'all. This is where we built this thing for the tractor and my boat. And when I'll do welding projects, I have a place where I can I can come out here and I can weld. Like for instance today. My face is all dirty. Welding hat on y'all. You know. Anyway. Y'all I'm a seasoned welder. I used to have my own business. Sea dog, uh, sea dog fab and welding was my old business, my old fabrication and welding business, and I loved it. I still do love welding. That's one of my passions. I like doing. Uh, well, anyway, I don't have my tripod, and I didn't really video welding because my dad was helping me, and my dad and my mom and. They don't like being in my videos, so. But I'm going to show y'all something. You see that old Lincoln Cracker Barrel welder? Old electric. 220 volt welder. Ain't no sense in the world. I have a gasoline welder and a Miller. Uh, 225 Miller. Gas welder, bobcat, blue star, whatever you want to call it. I have a welder, a gas welder, a mobile welder. But there ain't no sense in the world. For the little projects that I did, and the rain started to pick up a little bit. It started to blow a different direction. But there's no sense in the world to crank up a daggum noisy, loud gasoline welder. When, when I got this little cracker box arc welder. I like this little cracker box. Now I, I built this whole carport with this with this little welder. So anyway, I'm gonna show y'all something. I'm gonna flip my camera around. Oh, I went to one of them things on Facebook and I got one of them little things. Rollers for less than twenty dollars. Them people that sell them tools, they get off of, of uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. And it's got them big, big old pallets worth of tools. I bought several things like that from them. Well, anyway, y'all, my sister and brother-in-law got deer lease, and the uh, first one they ever had together. Uh, they've always hunted off with me or hunted with other friends and uh, so they are, they actually got two hundred acres that they're gonna hunt this year. Well they needed feeders, y'all. And my brother in law didn't want to buy no feeders. He wanted fifty five gallon drums. And uh, he he wanted to make them himself. <laughs> really? Brother-in-law Brian's gonna do all the work, and you're gonna be at work, sitting on your butt at work, while uh, your brother-in-law Brian welds everything up and builds these feeders for you. That's how it went, y'all. I welded them plates on there. Well, it's cut and welded them on the legs, those semi legs on there, extension legs. So. When they put their timers on the bottom and put their funnels in here, uh, they'll, uh, they did two barrels, good clean barrels. I think they paid $20 each for these 55 gallon drums with lids and, and uh, snap rings. Uh, 
He wanted eight foot legs on them. Y'all, I got a waterproof thing now so I can go out and clean on my phone. So, there's the legs. They're an inch and three quarter square. Right. I just got through welding these uh, little feet on here. So they won't sink down in the ground. I also uh, had my dad drill some half inch holes in them. So when they get the feeder up in the air, they can take a piece of 3 8 root rebar or half inch rebar, bend it on an angle and drive it down in the ground for stakes. It'll help. And uh, all six legs. And they bought the metal. I went and got the metal for them. Uh, I was going to take this piece of flat and go all the way around the barrel and make a collar and then put the legs on it, weld the legs on it. But my brother in law decided he wanted them welded like that, which is fine. Would have been a lot less welding for me. And, but I don't care. I like, I like to weld. So all they got to do left is put the funnels in there and put the timers. So anyway, I want y'all to like, share, comment. Remember y'all. I know this right, there's no welding, you can't even get to see me weld, but I promise as soon as my tripod gets in, in the mail, I got a, I've got one coming from Amazon, hopefully it'll be in by the time I get back from Ohio, uh, and uh, hopefully, uh, it'll, like I said, hopefully it'll get in the mail, so, and I do have an action camera now that Justin over at Illegal Outdoors, like I finally got it, how it will operate it. So I'll probably be using that little action, 4K action camera to do stuff. So, uh, but anyway, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna wrap up, grab my tools, put my tools up. My mom just called me. I don't know, I guess she wants me to come in the house. Hell, I don't know. But anyway, I got those done. And barrels. Like I said, all I got to do left is put their timers on the bottom, the throwers, their timers, and put the funnels in there. And, uh, they wanted me to hurry up. They wanted me to get it done. I went and got the metal yesterday. They didn't feel like doing it yesterday after I got back from getting the metal. Wasn't feeling all that well this morning. I got up about 10:30. It's uh, I think 2:30, 3 o'clock now, and uh, half a day of work. About four hours it took me to do all this, cut and weld it all up. We get the key out of the tractor. brown and law be over here after he gets off of work and he can load them up and take them home and do what he wants with them. Got good solid weld in there. You see that? <coughs> oh goodness. That barrel in there stinks, y'all. Made me stink. Smack on oh, sneeze. Yep, that's a good penetration weld right there, y'all. This barrel will rot and rust before them welds break, I guarantee you. <clears throat> Alright, if you ain't uh, subscribed to my channel, go hit that uh, subscription button. Ring that bell so you can get more notifications whenever I do videos. Alright, God bless you and keep it off of you. Remember, he loves you and he died for you.